And how did you become the gas optimizer master in Codarina? That one, I think I was the first one to understand that uh, a lot of it can be automated. And I do believe I'm the first one to have automated things on Codarina um, as an ex-developer. Then some came and have uh, way better automations uh, than me nowadays. But uh, And even uh, I can see on the automations some things I've written initially. So uh, we all copy each other. But at first, there's the, the automation. And then um, the things you can save uh, with uh, the, the gas savings you can find i actually believe it's not infinite it's actually pretty finite can we say finite finite yeah i think As, it's a very easy to automate gas optimization findings yeah and the things you can't automate uh, you can have a checklist to go through in each function and have some helpers with solidity visual developer to know where are the state variables uh, and where are the memory or storage uh, arrays and such. So you can have a checklist and, a, and an, an automation and a template where you kind of put uh, your your findings and then you'd have a huge gas report uh, that wouldn't take that much time. Well, it could take a day, but uh, uh, yeah, if you go about it that way, um, if you went about it before me, you'd be number one, in fact. Nowadays, I believe lots of people are better than me and not spending uh, that much time on gas. There are also new things to optimize on, like plus equal or uh, like A is equal to A plus B instead of A is uh, plus equal B, some things like that. But only on storage, not on arrays, because on, on arrays, it's the opposite that is gas optimized. Ridiculous things like that, you know, that you need to know to actually know and submit. Uh, but I don't really do that, do those anymore, uh, because it's not the best use of my time, I believe. But it was a very nice way to to begin to learn about the EVM, and um, yeah, to to really get into it. So, so I thought, what, can you share about your strategy back then? Like what you wrote? So you you learned like all the gas optimizations, and then you yeah. wrote like a Python code or a Python script to to static analyze uh, the solidity files or like what? Well, what? I, I'm a JavaScript guy, but even at the time, um, no, I I use PowerShell. <laughs> you use PowerShell, interesting. On Mac, on Mac. Uh, on Mac, yeah, because you told me that you're Mac, so you use PowerShell on Mac. Yeah, Why? I, I went from Windows to, to Mac, uh, because when I quit my job, I went from my automation that was on my Windows to, to a Mac that I bought. So I just had to find a way to continue using the, the previous automations. You know, you've got some templates, and then you find uh, you've got some keywords. You, you find some patterns, and you replace those keywords with uh, what you found uh, that, uh, oh, uh, sorry about uh, the noise. Um, yeah, no worries. It's just uh, some, uh, some, some replace on templates uh, by uh, pattern matching. And then you filter the false positives most of the time. And it's way faster to filter false positives than find uh, real positives. These and uh, for the manual parts, it's mainly a checklist. So it was pretty finite. And I, I believe everyone everyone can have a very nice gas report on any code base just with some kind of automation, even the existing ones uh, that are open source and uh, a big checklist. Wow, this is very interesting. So yeah, I believe that PowerShell and Python are the best for this kind of task because it's very good for data processing. And here, when you write a static analyzer, you need to process a lot of uh, data, like lines of code, and then parse it and replace keywords. And yeah, I used to write a lot in PowerShell and Python in my uh, Web2 security days. Uh, so wow, this is very interesting. Would Do you believe that still, if you will use your tools, you will be able to make some bugs in like... Uh, like, I don't know, Colorina or like Sherlock with ga uh, Sherlock Node because they don't have gas optimization, but Colorina. Uh, I've changed. Uh, since then, I believe that's some big alpha, but I don't know why people aren't really... It's been said again and again and again on Colorina, but there's an open source tool called Analyzer for Analyzer uh, by Judge Picodes. Uh, that's mm -hmm. open source. Uh, it's in Node.js. And uh, it enables you to add your own findings, be it with regex or EST. 
And for AST to browse the tree, it's pretty easy. Everyone has uh, installed the, uh, well, almost everyone, 99% of the population. The I never heard about this tool. Ah, a solid visual developer, yes, but about yes. this tool, it's interesting. I didn't hear about it. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much fork it uh, and uh, add your own findings uh, and edit the code to do your own things. But um, this is cool. there's, there's already um, a baseline to use AST. And with AST, uh, if, if you try to open some uh, code base you've got on uh, VS Code, at the top, you've got things like uh, graph this, report, and uh, you've got parse. If you click on parse, you will have a whole tree view of the code. Uh, you can try it right now. You'd have a whole tree. Cool. Can you share with me the link? I also want to add it later to the YouTube uh, description so people can yeah. find it as well. Uh, 